I'm Wade Brorson. I'm a currently a professor at Oklahoma State. My job is heavily working with graduate students. I have a heavy research and teaching position. I do a lot of research on futures markets, price analysis, econometrics. And most of the classes I teach are PhD classes. I also teach an undergraduate futures market class. My experience at Texas A&M was like uh, most others. I took um, lots of classes. I did a lot of research, uh, made a lot of friends. It was, it was really a, a very nice experience. I was treated very well and very happy with the education I received. Well, I think I, I value the, the friends I made here and the relationships I developed probably the most. I also value the education I received a lot here because it's really helped me a lot. My uh, first job was at uh, Purdue University. It was a, a research and, and teaching position. Um, I taught one class a year, taught econometrics, and basically they showed you your office, here's your office, and they come back uh, once a year, check and see what you did. And it was a job that, uh, that I really liked because they just left me alone and I had a lot of freedom. And basically my job was to write journal articles and publish and work with students. And um, Purdue was a, a wonderful place. Well, to achieve success really means achieving your goals, whatever those goals are. Those, um, people have multiple goals that include things about family, friends. Uh, they also include professional success and include money. And um, so what if you achieve the goal that you set out to do, I'd say certainly that you're successful. Well, the advice I give, um, I give students a lot is that if you're an undergraduate student and you want to go to graduate school, I say take more math. Whatever, whatever math you've taken, take one more because uh, graduate school and in economics involves lots of mathematics. I've never had that much problem uh, managing the uh, priorities of family or, or my career. For one thing, I'm in academics, and in academics has a lot of flexibility. I've had fairly low teaching loads, and research is always something that, that you can put off or you can do when you have nothing else to do. And so I've never really had that much problem with, with the balance. I've looked at the other uh, people that have um, been included in the, um, the TITIM registry, and I'm pretty impressed. It's really an impressive list. And it's really great to see the success that so many people have had, and they got degrees in agricultural economics, and to see their success in the, the variety of ways that they've been successful.